It's Danton, Danton. You never really know what he's gonna say next. It's Danton, Danton. Giggity, 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 giggity. Fuck the government. That's all I got out of this movie. Seriously, fuck the government. And I, and I have to agree with you on that. Hello there, Criterion 8 here. Number 464. I guess that's what number I'm wearing. Number 464. Andro, Andre Vidas, Danton. 1983, 136 minutes, color, French, Actually, it's French and Polish, but you don't, wouldn't know that from the dubbing, you know. Um, so, Vita. We got another Vita movie. How cool is that? And do we have any more? We, got any, we ain't got no more Vitas, do we? Do we got any more Vita? We ain't got no more Vita. Oh, damn. Because I was digging it. I like this one. I mean, I like the, the, first, the three war films, too, as well. So... Yeah, you know, well, I was kind of excited, a bit excited to see this one, and sure enough, it's a really interesting movie. Um, it tells the story of uh, Georges Danton, who is, I guess, the leader of the, the revolution or something like that, um, and uh, his kind of battles with um, Robespierre. And I guess they were friends at one point or something, and so a lot of the movie is just the two of them, you know, like, Danton's been making mischief, and they want to put him on trial for his crimes, and Robespierre, like, doesn't want to do it. And there's, yeah, so that's basically the whole movie. I'm not going to give you the whole plot because, again, it's it's a little confusing because I don't know the story of the French Revolution. But um, I knew, but the thing is, I think this movie gives you enough of it where you can still enjoy it even if you get confused. There's, a, I think, um, the performances are fantastic. Uh, Depardieu as uh, Danton. And uh, what's his name? Wojcik, I think Wojcik Zoniak as um, Robespierre. Those two guys just light up the screen with their performances. They they were I think some of the best acting I've seen in a Criterion Collection in a while. Um, so I give them kudos, credit, and all that good stuff. M most most enjoyable. Um. So yeah. So Danton, he's this. You get leader, and one of the big things is he, when he was put on trial, he kept you know trying to rile up the crowd, and you know the he basically made a mockery of the trial because he kept interrupting and speaking, and you know the crowd didn't want him you know banned or whatever. Um, eventually, ends, ended up getting executed, which somehow I guess put Robespierre in shock because he realizes too late that. Everything he stood for, everything that France stood for, was falling apart. Somewhere along the way, you know, the just everything that he learned when he was younger, you know, everything he stood for kind of just fell by the wayside for this man. And because of this man and because of what he believed in, he kind of let himself go. You know, that he, I think he, he realized too late that there could have been a way to figure it all out. Um, that's what I picked up. Now, I guess the whole... The big thing that I didn't pick up on this, because, again, I don't know the history, was that it was also supposed to be a parallel allegory to what was going on in Poland at the time. Um, I guess there was this solidarity movement that was going on back in the 80s. And so Vida, like, added touches of that into the, um, into the movie. So it wasn't necessarily a strict, um, a strict like historical movie. Maybe a little bit of historical fiction, due to the fact that there's supposed to be you know the present day um, put into that movie. Like um, sort of like what what they did with Walker um, a little bit. Walker, and then there was an I think another movie that I we saw. I can't remember what one it was, but oh well. Um, anyway. It's still enjoyable. Um, interesting that um, everybody speaks French in this movie. However, Robespierre and all the people, all of his allies, are all Polish actors. So I didn't, and I didn't realize that. I wasn't looking at their, you know, I didn't look at their mouths, and it kind of dawned on me, you know, in the in the interviews, of Vida speaks on how, you know, um, what is his name, uh, Zoniak, didn't speak French very well. So you know, they just said. Let's film the scenes in French separately from the scenes in Polish. And so, you know, they dubbed and they dubbed the, you know, dubbed the voices all in French. 
So if you watch it again, then it's like, you know, I watched it again, and I'm like, oh, yeah, there's the, you know, wow, they're, they're not matching up, huh? They're speaking Poland, Polish, um, but they're, you know, speaking, you hear French. I thought that was very interesting. I thought that was very interesting. And uh, I, yeah, I dug it. So um, I thought, again, the acting, Depardieu and Zoniak just stole this movie, just made this movie its own. Uh, I have to say though the the woman who played um, was it uh, Lucille uh, what is it, her name the actress uh, who played uh, Lucille de Molin is one of the most extra extra actresses I've ever seen. I mean she's screaming, she's fainting, and just she's just like looking like she's about to turn into the chick from The Handmaid's Tale. And I'm like, oh god, here we go. Like she wants her own movie, you know. And I don't know, maybe there's something I don't know about her character, Lucille, that I don't know about. But I was just kind of like, oh, Jesus, you know. I just thought her acting was a little, you know, over the top, you know, compared to everybody else. I thought, again, I thought the two lead male actors were really, really good. But, again, maybe it's just that movie. I don't know. Anyway, wrapping this up. Don Tom, great, great movie. The music, I have to say the music and the ending were chilling as fuck. I mean, that was one of the creepiest endings I've ever seen in a movie. Because um, at the beginning of the movie, you see a little boy learning the, uh, the the Declaration of the Rights of Man for France or something. And at the end of the movie, he is brought in to recite it to Robespierre. And Robespierre is in shock. And, you know, he, you know, and hearing, and he, he's already had this revelation. And to hear this little boy recite all these words that he went against is just like, you know, just Robespierre can't take it. And I think he actually, I don't know if he actually died or not. He was supposed to be, he died, but um, anyway. And then the music swells as he's talking and the credits start to fade in over his face. It's a really, really chilling ending, I have to say. And I think some of that was, again, another nod to what was going on in Poland at the time. So kudos to Vida and all that good stuff. So anyway, Don Tom, great movie. Vida just miss him. I know he died like I think last year, and so you know I want to see some more Vida movies. D D D I dig this guy. Um, I give it an A. Good stuff. Uh, that's basically all I can say. Great, great movie. Great story. Great acting for the most part. And uh, yeah, uh, this one just has the trailer. Uh, this too has all the supplements. There's a 42 minute inter uh, documentary called uh, Vida's Danton. Which was um, made back right after the, you know, during the making of the movie back in eight back in 1983. Um, there's also a new interview with uh, Andre Vida and Jer Jersey Plazuski, um, them talking about the making of the film, and also a interview with the screen the screenwriter Jean Claude Carrière, and um, that's basically it. So good stuff, good little package. Danton gets an A from me. I don't know if I'm gonna pick this up. But maybe, maybe it's like, I'm definitely gonna to want to see this one again. It's, it was, it was a trip. I want to get, I want to get a little more of uh, this again. I want to get more of that, of that. I get more of that acting. Just gonna kind of see these, those two guys do it again. So if I watch it again or if I buy it, it's because of everything. Anyway, hey. So sorry about the delay again. I know I'm just like, just like, oh, I should do. It. I could have done it. I could have done it Thursday, honestly, if I want to, or Friday. I could have time to do this, but no, I didn't do it. Why? I don't know. But guess what? We're doing reviews this week. We're doing all kinds of reviews. Starting with this one tomorrow, Dota Sky Done. Wednesday, in the realm of the senses. Thursday, um, Empire of Passion. Friday, uh, Science of Fiction. 23 films by Jean Penlevé. Uh, Saturday, the hit. Sunday, Wise Blood. And then by next week, and then probably next Monday, we uh, the clips are coming in and we'll do the Alexander Cordes Private Lives. And while I'm here, and after this review, I'm gonna go and request the next couple because you know we're on a roll. And I may even try and do a couple of these at the same day, like maybe the the two Oshima movies um, in the same day. Uh, because they're sh relatively short, um, there's not a huge amount of supplements, 
Um, I am definitely going to save Dota Skyden as its own thing tomorrow. It's the only movie I'm watching tomorrow. There. But I might put the Oshimas together. And, uh, and yeah, I think, and then, you know, that way, because, um, because Thursday, because this is a three disc set, I'd like to have, Thursday right now is the only day that I have all, basically all day to do. And because it's a long one, I want to make sure to have plenty of time to do it. Th Friday is a tight squeeze, but, I'm, but I should have time to do it, um, barring no unforeseen circumstance. And then, yeah, Saturday I've got some plans, but I do have time for the hit. Um, but I have time for either the hit or Wise Blood because they're one disc. So with, when you have that second disc of supplements, that's when things get tricky. So Anyway, that's it for me. Thank you for watching. Fuck the government, I guess. Um, and, um, yeah, and uh, don't be extra in a movie. <laughs> don't be that damn extra, you know. So... Um, Anyway, that's it for me. Thank you for watching, and we will see you all tomorrow for a little Kurosawa in the form of Dodeskaden. And until then, goodbye.